Ladies and gentlemen, I think you already know what time it is. My bandaholics, I have missed you guys. How's everyone doing? Man, it's been a while. I swear, ever since Apple switched up their band release schedule to skip the summer and winter months, it just seems like we're on a severe dry spell all the time. Like Apple, we will hand over our credit cards whenever you drop new bands. You do realize this, right? Anyways, guys, glad to see all of you back. So listen, if you're new here, though, we do things differently around here on my channel. You'll 100% want to wait until the end of this video to find out how you can enter into my official fall band giveaway and take home a brand new Nike Sport Loop ball for yourself. I do this every single season to spread the love and low-key maybe push some band addicts to become full-blown bandaholics. I'm sorry it's just the way it is. Also, keep your eyes peeled for a band hidden somewhere throughout this video. The first two people to spot the correct timestamp and comment it down below will win an additional entry for a separate live giveaway. Again, stick around until the end for more deets. Today, we'll first cover the brand new, slightly redesigned Nike Sport Loops. Now, right off the bat, these newly reimagined bands are hot fire, and there's a band for any and all kind of band enthusiast. Some of my peeps like to ride with the dark and subtle bands. Others, like myself, don't mind a really bouncy and bright band. In any case, we're going to look at all five of the brand new Nike Sport Loops and model them on a variety of different colored Apple Watches so you get a better feel for how they look as well as viewing them in different lighting conditions. Grab a snack while the intro plays. You'll have to be quick though because I promise you, this is set to be a good one. Let's go ahead and get this party started. <laughs> All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you grabbed your snack. So most of you all know these do retail for $49 a pop, which is typical, and I'm surprised they haven't raised the price in all these years. But hold up, I'm not trying to give Tim Apple and his gang any ideas now. So let's move on and now talk about how gorgeous these brand new bands are. They're all super spunky and have a ton of charisma behind them. Each band has a mostly tri-color interwoven design, with several colors being mixed and washed together to create a stunning ambiance. We do also have a little cloth tag at the end of the band now with the Nike logo proud and center. This little tag acts as either a nice accent contrasting against the color it's up against, or a complimenting one as we'll soon see. Also, towards the end of the band, it now seems to have an extra line of stitching, adding not only extra durability and rigidness, but also gives the band an additional nice little visual accent. Also worth mentioning is that the very end of the bands are no longer plastic, but instead is cloth-like and is just as sturdy had it been kept the same. Okay, damn, where do we start? Let's start with the Game Royal and Orange Nike Sport Loop. And I chose this one first because it's a great example of how Apple and Nike co-collaborated to bring us such stunning bands that are perfect for outdoor activities and while hitting the gym. Or realistically, any kind of physical activity is where these bands shine. And on Game Royal, the orange tag gives it a great contrasting look against the mostly darker blue background. The end plastic lugs are this dark blue almost midnight, making it a great candidate to match with darker case and colors. The band and also seems to feature faint orange and yellowish streaks, giving it an even more distinct look. I love this band and have to rate it at a solid 8.7 out of 10. Next up is Bright Green and Blue, an energetic color segue that is sure to turn heads and match up with all kinds of drip. Listen to me. This color is definitely for those that are very active in their lives. Whether you're about to clear a fresh PR on bench, or whether you're playing volleyball with friends, this band screams activity. It's got these gorgeous bright green accents on both sides, but stuck in between these bright green streaks is a calm and cool dark blue color sprinkled with slight turquoise and gray streaks. Here, our Nike logo tag is a softer blue, still giving the band a very distinct personality. I feel like dark blue on bright green is a common gym apparel combination, and for this reason, I think this band will be very popular. I'll give it a solid 8.1 out of 10. Up next is black and blue, and yo, this one surprised me. Initially, I'm like, okay, this is the black band of this bunch. Kind of boring, but a staple. But man, was I surprised. In person, it's this perfect mesh of dark blues against a black background with a grayish tab to make things even funner and more mysterious. 
The lugs here are also darker in nature, just like our last two bands, except I'd say this color is closest to Midnight in terms of plastic lugs, that is. I really like what the gray Nike logo tab does for this band. It gives it that extra little spice it needed to turn this from an average band to a memorable one and is why I give it a flat 8. It's a great band. Alright, almost wrapping up, but this right here is my absolute favorite of this bunch, and it may be an unpopular one. But I gotta give it to the team at Apple and Nike for creating such a unique and fun new sport loop. I'm obviously talking about Starlight and Pink. And listen, it's time we as a society move away from aligning pink with being girly or whatever. I will proudly rock a light pink band any day. And this band here blends strawberry reds with light cream colors and the cherry on top, these light pink plastic inserts. This band, in my own humble opinion, is close to being perfect. I specifically love how clean and pristine it looks like paired with the white ceramic Apple Watch. Which, by the way, it seems Apple has now neglected since the Series 5 is the last Apple Watch to ever feature the material. We're on the Series 9 now, by the way. Just look at this, you can't tell me that doesn't look dope as hell. And if you do, then I know you're lying. Look, I know this band isn't for everyone, but it works best when paired with the lighter colors. Like the new pink aluminum series 9, which I will be reviewing soon by the way, and like the silver and starlight Apple watches. I can't give this one nothing less than a 9.5 out of 10. And last but not least, we have Sequoia and Orange, another band that uses clever usage of the new Nike logo tab featured on every new Nike Sport Loop. See, the predominant color is this nice army green color. Think of it like a nice olive with the brightness and saturation turned up a peg or two. But then, it goes ahead and throws you a curveball by adding that bright orange Nike logo complemented by faint orange streaks that help create some depth to the foreground color. Our streaks on either side here are the same army green color and features the same colored plastic lugs. Olives and burgundies are my personal favorite colors, so I'll be biased here and give this one a nice 9.2 out of 10. It's just a nice neutral color with enough character to stand out thanks to the use of orange which contrasts heavily against the mostly calm and very predominant olive green color. And there we have it guys, those are our 5 brand new colors for the new Nike Sport Loops. Which ones did you like? Which ones didn't you like? Let me know in the comment section below. And for those keeping a watchful eye, did you catch the randomly placed band? So alright, first I want to say before I conclude that I'm super stoked we're back on band season. This time of the year is very exciting for a lot of us bandaholics, so make sure to catch a few of my live streams here and there on Wednesday and Sunday nights and come talk bands with me. It's a really awesome environment where I can connect with you guys, my audience, on a more personal level. But about the giveaway, every single band review I will release excluding Hermes reviews come accompanied with a giveaway. Entry rules are super simple. 1. Make sure to be subscribed to my channel with bell notifications. The bell is important. This ensures you never miss out on any of my future videos. 2. Follow me on any of my socials. I'll have my handles up on screen right now as well as my link tree in the video description. And three, comment down below which new Apple item you're looking forward to most this holiday season. And it doesn't have to be from the most recent September event. It might be time to upgrade your MacBook, maybe an iPad, whatever it may be, let me know down below. Winners will be chosen on October 25th on one of my bi-weekly live streams. On that day, I'll announce the winners of the standard giveaway as well as the hidden band winner live right here on YouTube. Good luck to all who enter, and it looks like I have a ton of work up ahead, guys. You'll be seeing a lot more of me in your subscription feed real soon. So until next time, y'all stay hydrated, be safe, and I'll catch you all in my next video.